Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth and World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Trial of the Champion dungeon up in Northern as we will be breaking out of bounds and I'm going to show you how. Now this is a fairly simple glitch as it just takes uh, just a little bit of patience when you're hopping through the wall over here. It's not too hard, but uh, before I begin, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel. We're almost to 4,000 subscribers. That is incredible to me. You guys are just super nice and amazing with all the positivity, the comments, the likes, just everything you guys have been doing for my channel and for the All Things Nerd community. It's just been amazing. So I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everybody who's been watching these videos. I hope that you're still being entertained, you're still loving them, and that uh, you're still liking them. So let me know if you have any future suggestions for where you'd like to see. I'm trying to stay away from current live content. That means Dragonflight, unfortunately, until the War Within drops. Uh, it's just on the safer side. And uh, But if there's any other dungeon or raid or anywhere you'd like me to break out of, or try to at least, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my bestest. Okay, let's get started. So... But as you come through the dungeon portal over here, you're going to want to make your way out this way. Now you're going to see a corner over here with a lance rack and some uh, mounts. But you're going to get behind the mounts and you're going to see this flag in the corner here. Now what you're going to want to do is just basically jump right in the corner here. And as you can see, we're kind of already out of the map here. But what we're going to want to do is make our way... Going closer and closer out of bounds. So we're going to wait until our metamorphosis is back up. Or sorry, not metamorphosis, our infernal strike. And we're just going to ease our way out this way. There we go. We're almost already out. As you can see, we're almost out of the map. I think one more jump will do it. So we're going to wait for Infernal Strike to come back up as we're waiting. There we go. We are officially out of the map. As you can see, we are inside of the wall here. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over here. And then we're going to go out this way around the, uh, the little gate over there. If we don't mess this up. So I'm going to actually walk out this way just a little bit. Because we don't want to hit the... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. You're going back into bounds here? What's going on? Maybe we can jump over here, actually. It's not letting us through? What the heck? Hold on. Oh. There we go. Alright, so we had to edge our way over, but that's okay. We got it. <laughs> All right, so as we're out of the dungeon, we're going to make our way out this way. As you can see, the Colosseum is pretty big from the outside. And we're going to go explore Northern a little bit. Unfortunately, because we're technically still in the dungeon and we're not outside because you're never supposed to be out here, you can't actually mount up, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to walk our way around everywhere. Now, but as we're walking out this way, I do want to announce that I'm going to have a full set series on the um, <clears throat> Court of the Stars dungeon out in uh, the Broken Isles in Legion. Um, all that credit is going to go to all the guys in the ATN Discord channel. I'll find out exactly who broke out and I'll give credit to them. But they had showed me how to break out last night. And... Uh, yeah, I'm going to be making like probably about six videos on that place. And uh, you'll see why, because it is a lot. Now, as we make our way into the tent over here, you can see that a lot of stuff is here still. The beds and all the recruitment stuff. Now, it does look like it's snowed in, unfortunately. But you can't get on top of here. And you can kind of see through the tent here, which is kind of hard to see, but... You know, it's not really rendered, so you can't really get in there. So we're going to keep making our way outside. Now this is actually a really cool shot of the dungeon from the outside over here. And you can see the underground there. Now we're actually going to make our way down there here in a minute. 
But we're going to go climb up this mountain. And we're going to go take a look and see what's up above northern here. Like I said before, those videos are going to be coming out in the next few weeks. Um, they're going to take a little bit to record because there is a lot to show. I'm not going to spoil it, obviously, but it's, you're definitely not going to want to miss those because it's a lot of fun to see. Um, I'm going to be excited to make those. I'm probably going to take like a whole Saturday to film those and uh, because it's just kind of back to back to back. And then I'll release them in part because I probably want to do some editing on them too because there's a lot of walking. So, all right, we're going to keep making our way up this mountain. Like Uncle Rico would say, up the mountain, throw the football. <clears throat> and as you can see, as we get up here, you can see the skybox, which is really cool. But there's a whole lot of nothingness out here. And I think, which is really cool, is we can get to the very top of this dungeon. We're going to see if we can make our way up this way. There we go. We can keep Infernal striking up. Now, unfortunately, our Infernal Strike is down. But we can keep jumping up and up and up. And the other creepy thing out here is that there's no music. And as you can see, there is some texture out here where uh, Ice Crown Citadel would usually be. But nothing actually out there. But then you can get a, get a cool shot outside of the dungeon here. Now let me zoom in a little bit. And that actually makes a really cool screenshot. But you can tell, there's, uh, this dungeon's not too big from the outside. It is pretty neat though. But what we're going to do is we're going to go fly down this way because we want to go check out what's back over here. And then we'll make our way back under, underneath the dungeon. We'll go check all that area out. Hmm. So let's fly down here. And let's go see what's going on back here. There is some texture going on out here behind the mountains here. Nothing too much. You do see some land dropping off the edge over here. And you do see some textured ground over here. Now I don't normally I don't normally know what's supposed to be back here. I believe it's part of Ice Ground Citadel with some of the structure usually sticking up from the top. That was a long fly, so I'm glad we actually made it safely down. And like I said before, the music stops out here, so it's very quiet. So if you're ever wanting a real quiet ambience OOB, this is the place to come to. I might have to add some music over this video. And we're gonna go fly down here as well and you can see a good shot of the edge of the world. And that it leads kind of into the void of nothingness. But I do love the skybox and the thunder going on around us. Unfortunately, there's no noise. Just like the music is cut off. And unfortunately, I can't mount up either. <laughs> so we're going to have to walk all the way back. And I'm going to stop talking for just a minute because I kind of want you to understand how quiet it is in this dungeon. There is nothing but my footsteps. Now as we make our way back to the beginning of the dungeon, I just wanted to say that coming up next month, we're going to be doing another event on the 20th of April. I don't know what the event is going to be yet. There is still voting going on. If you haven't voted for the event, 
I posted something in the uh, community tab under all things nerd. There's also a voting thing in the ATN Discord. So if you haven't joined the ATN Discord, I highly encourage you to do so. We've been building a huge community in there, almost close to 50 members already. Or maybe we've already broken 50 members, I don't remember. Um, but I know we're getting huge, so don't miss out. It's a lot of fun, good people to meet in there. Everybody's sharing their OOB stuff in World of Warcraft, posting memes, uh, <laughs> posting video, music suggestion. It's a lot of fun. Come join the ATN Discord. We'd love to meet you. I would love to say hi to you. And uh, just uh, thank you for the support and the channel. And uh, just say uh, that, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. So definitely come hang out. Oh, well, I'm glad getting up that hill was easy. Because that would have sucked. Now, the good thing is we can make our way back down the mountain. And I think it's actually faster to just uh, <laughs> fly over here. So let's go up here. And we're going to fly and make our way back down the mountain here. Now, this is a really cool shot. Now, that is something we actually didn't see. Let's go check out that first before we go under the map here. I forgot. There is some lich stuff going on in the background here. So some of the rendered objects you normally will see. Now, that is cool. Look at the eye just floating out there. Normally that eye moves, which is it still following me? No, it's not moving because normally you're never supposed to be out here to begin with. And normally this eye will follow you if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it is following me. Okay. That's creepy. <laughs> Ooh, we got some skeleton arms sticking out of the ground here. And we do got some lich textured. Ah, so some of Ice Crown Citadel, the walls actually is textured out here. This is really cool. I think we're going to get another screenshot of this kind of floating out here. That's really awesome. I don't think there's anything else back here, though, other than this wall. And these two floating, I don't know, whatever you call them, these objects. Hmm. I'm sure they have a name. Maybe people can tell me in the chat what they're called. We're going to see if we can make our way up here. Yeah, there we go. Ah, this is really cool. So we do got some crystals up here. And I'm assuming normally these are part of a quest line or something. I haven't done Northern content in years, so... I wouldn't remember. Like I told you guys, I'm not a lore expert. I have been playing for a long time, but it's been a while since I've done Northern and Burning Crusade content. So I'm going to be a, you're going to have to refresh my memory a little bit out here. <clears throat> All right, let's make our way back to the arena, I guess you could say. And let's go take a look around. Now, as you can tell, there is a whole nother part of the dungeon underneath. Because if I believe or remember correctly, you actually fall through the floor at a certain part to fight the other bosses. So it's cool that we can actually go access that without even getting to the boss first. If I remember correctly. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done this. And we just got a notification that I think someone came online or went offline. I don't remember. All right. Now this is way cool. You can get a cool shot of the underground of the dungeon here. Wow. Look at that. A lot of cool texture and stuff going on. All these ice caves underneath. Ooh. Kind of scary looking. But I wonder if we can actually get to some of those objects by flying in. Let's find out. Now, unfortunately, oh, okay. We are clipping back into bounds here just a little bit. So I'd be curious to see. Now that's really cool. Look at these textures here. Cool structures underneath. 
That'd be really neat to get to. I don't think normally you can. I'm sure we could fly down there, but I say we test it out, huh? Let's go fly down here and see what we can jump on and what we can't. Oh, we fly through this. Okay. <laughs> All right. I thought maybe we'd land on some of this stuff. Oh, and we're flying through again. I think what we're going to do is we're going to turn around because we don't want to clip out of too far out of bounds because we don't want to get DC'd or disconnected. And I lied. Maybe we're just going to get DC'd and disconnected. All right. Cool. Well, that's a one way to end the video. We're either going to get DC'd and disconnected or we're going to die, but we're going to get some cool shots underneath the dungeon here. I'm going to zoom in as we're falling to our death. That is way cool to see from underneath. Let's take a couple more screen captures because I'm probably never going to do this again. Now that's a cool screen capture. That's also really cool. And there we go. We DC'd. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching the video. Um, I appreciate all your support. Uh, as always, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.